A discarded sofa, one of many items polluting a lagoon in Rio de Janeiro. While trash covers the surface of the lagoon, methane and other harmful gases bubble up from below. The dirty waters emitting a foul smell to nearby residents. And if left unchanged, in a year and a half it will be seen by thousands of tourists when Rio hosts the 2016 Olympic Games. This lagoon bordering Olympic venues. Trash does not respect any Olympic competitions, this environmentalist says. It will go where the wind and tide takes this floating waste. This bay in Rio is meant to be a sailing venue for the 2016 Olympic Games. A closer look shows that it too is full of trash. Under pressure from the International Olympic Committee, the government of Rio has hired a high-tech Dutch firm to help collect the garbage. This group says its computer simulations will help the city save money. Our system is just software. We hope that will have an impact in the decision makers because we are modeling reality. And it's more obvious if it's in your screen uh, every day. Yet environmentalists say that garbage tracking will have zero impact on garbage collection. The environmentalist touring the water says he has no doubt that it is not lack of money or lack of technology, it is lack of political will. During its bid for the 2016 Games, Brazil pledged to reduce the flow of pollution by 80 percent. IOC officials who recently held meetings in Rio say they have been reassured the bay will be suitable for sailing by next summer. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.